On first down at 10, they go to Potts, and there's Potts, 45-50. Potts going to run away from people. He's at the 20, the 15, touchdown, Potts. Convoy back here, back to pass, looking for Shea. Jay's got his man beat on the dead run. Touchdown, Warrior. John Shamori, he's got Guthrie next to him, double wides each side, rolling out. Shamori. Throwing down in the corner, the catch was made by Sanford. Third and long, play action, gonna throw across the middle. Oh, oh and no, oh, he's, he's intercepted it. by Hunter Webb. Hunter Webb tipped it, he's gonna run up to 10, and he leaps forward. Welcome to Touchdowns and Tailgates, presented by the Fairfield Auto Group. We're heading into weekend number seven of the local high school football season. I'm here with Gary Chrisman. How's it going, Gary? Jim, I'd say it's hard to believe. I say this to Babe Mayor every year at Labor Day, first game of the year, or in this case, it was before Labor Day. Before you know it, it's going to be weekend number five, six. Here we are at number seven. I know. But I'd say we've got a lot of good teams in oh. this area. Big weekend coming up. It's going to be exciting. Fantastic. we got beautiful STA Stadium in the background, and the Williamsport Millionaires are smoking. They're off to yeah. a great start. Yeah, and, return uh, to glory couldn't happen at a better time. It seemed like the timing was right, and I uh, had fun. I was on that committee, and it was fun that uh, this is what what we're looking at out here right now and, and it was great the community got behind uh, oh, yeah. the project and now it's great that the football team's playing great football to, to to make everybody think oh my gosh we built a new stadium and look at the great thing that happened so yeah, 62 to 18 the final score uh, in the game the other night beat it but on a pretty good scranton team yeah now, this team is for real but they better play well saturday and i know the pa sports live guys will be there at delaware valley, delaware valley saturday yeah. afternoon jim it's going to be a tough game but the millionaires one at a time that's what chuck cruz is preaching right now coach cruz he he won't let him look ahead and they'll, they'll be focused on this week. So, hey, we got a big show ahead of us. Uh, obviously, we're going to start here. We got uh, offensive coordinator Kevin Brown. You're going to be talking with him. All right. Uh, I got William Sport Jr., uh, All State candidate Kurt Daniker, and uh, he's going to be one of my Web Weekly players of the week. We're going to give some love to the bigs, to the linemen, and uh, then oh, yeah. I'm going to I'm going to go across the river here a little later. But uh, yeah, that South Side team played pretty well. Yeah, they yes they did. Twenty to seven over Sock, the offensive line. You can't say a, a whole lot more about the great things they did. And then I'm going to end up over there when we're done here in Williamsport. So and of course then the the game that everybody's looking at around the state of Pennsylvania, one of the big games in all of Pennsylvania this week. Two six and O teams. The Hersville Warriors, J.C. Kiefer's team, they played a lot of really good teams. They're, they've won them all. They're 6-0. and And Jim Roth, Southern Columbia team, the defending state champs. One of the great games we ever did on cable sports was the district championship last year. 56-50, Southern won that game. We're going to be out there talking to some of the players and J.C. Kiefer about the game. We will do on Cable Sports Live at Memorial Stadium coming up. So, Jim, I tell you, I think we're ready to go. We better get going. we got a lot to do. When we come right back, we're going to talk to Kurt Daniker. I'm up here on the hill at STA Stadium, and I have Kurt Daniker. Hey, Kurt Daniker, how are you today? Hey, nice to see you. Hey, you're playing left guard this year for the Millionaires. Yep. Um, off to a great start. Tell me a little bit about your year to this point. Um, you know, we haven't had a whole lot of competition this year. Uh, only once or twice we've been really tested, and uh, uh, most of the times we're just stopping ourselves. So I think if we can get over that, we'll, uh, we'll do really well for ourselves. Well, obviously you've been here and saw this uh, program turn around under Coach Cruz mm -hmm. and uh, go on the right way. Um, tell us a little bit about Coach Cruz and, and, and the change in atmosphere and how things are right now. Uh, you know, when Coach Cruz got here, the intensity picked up tremendously. The intensity. See, intense. <laughs> yes, very much so. Um, and, uh, you know, he just really pushes us to do our absolute best because he'll, he'll accept nothing less than that. And uh, I think when we play to the best of our ability, you know, that's what, that's what great teams do. Absolutely. So. Now, you're the, you're the left tackle. The line has been doing a great job piling up points. But, but talk a little bit about your fellow linemen and, and, and how that's going in the trenches this year. Well, I'm at, left, yeah, I'm at left guard. Uh, I'm sorry, left guard. <laughs> uh, Tucker Crusher, uh, sophomore, he's at left tackle. Uh, Chance Bauer at center. Uh, Tyler Anderson at right guard. And uh, uh, Eli Clary at right tackle. Both those guys are seniors. Um, you know, going into the year, we sort of 
we've had most of our starters. We had four starters. Uh, Tucker really stepped up and uh, filled that spot, and uh, he's doing really well for us. And, um, you know, we're a brotherhood. We're a team within a team. Absolutely, so. and, and that's the one thing I, I admire from the outside looking, and I see that closeness you guys that have developed. And you know why I keep wanting to put you at left tackle? Because you're too, you're too big at the high school level to be a left guard. At the high school level, you know? yeah. But, but at the next level. The next and, level, and, I fit right And, in, and so. that's where I'm going with that. Mm -hmm. A lot of Division One looks. Do you want to talk to us about it a little bit? Where you been? Where you been going? What um, you like? Yeah, I've been uh, to a few game day visits so far this year to Penn State, uh, Rutgers, Pitt. Um, you know, all great facilities, all great schools. Um, you know, it's still the junior year, so we're just going to wait know. and see how things play you got out. Got another year left, man. Good things mm -hmm. happening up here. Well, I know you got to get to practice, and I know Coach Cruz will be calling me out if you don't get there, but yeah. hey, you are you are our Web Weekly, one of our players of the week. We're going big. We're going with Lyman this week, and, and for all your efforts up front, and uh, and all you uh, the hard work I know the work you've put in you're a web weekly player right. of the week and uh, you'll be going down to park pizza our good friends down there Scott and the gang will be uh, serving you up some pizza so sounds good sounds good to me congrats keep up the good work thank you very much sir take a little commercial break and we'll be right back Park Pizza has been serving the best pizza in town for over 50 years. They're open daily at 4 and you can dine in at their beautiful restaurant, take out, or have it delivered. If you're hungry, the great taste of Park Pizza served plain or with all the toppings will satisfy your cravings and you need to try their delicious wings and stromboli too. Don't wait any longer. Enjoy Wim Sports' finest tradition in pizza today. Call 322-9024 for the unmistakable taste of Park Pizza. 1701 Memorial Avenue in Wim Sport. Well, we're here at STA Stadium. Kevin Brown, offensive coordinator. Now, everybody says the younger brother of Gary Brown. But yes. now now the offensive coordinator of the millionaires. Were, you, know, you were a 1,000-yard runner in your own right those days. Yeah, I, I did a couple of things up here a long time ago. You right? ran the football pretty well. We yeah. did those games. Yeah, yeah, you did. Hey, you've got to be having fun. Now, you, you know, you, you know, the coaching staff, the millionaires, and I, we talk, I try to talk to you just about every time yeah. we do your yes, game, and yes. you give me some great insight yeah. on the team. Where are you guys right now? You're 6-0, and but where are you from the standpoint of, of the things you think you still need to work on? Where well, this is a team taking one game at a time with Del Val coming up in a big game on Saturday. Um, offensively, because that's what I do, uh, uh, Blocking, um, and that's at all levels. That's receivers, uh, running backs, picking up blitzes, uh, linemen, finishing blocks. Um, just the little things we always preach about that uh, that um, winning teams do. Um, in the past, you guys would not finish games, or as you mentioned, the Valley West game. Yeah. You, you you got in a game there. You got in a tough ball game. Yeah. Last year, you may have folded. Yes. Valley West comes back. You never get out of that little rut. Right. This year, you're making the plays, and you're winning it going away. Is yeah. that the difference? Yes. Uh, and kind of what we were talking about earlier before we caught on, um, uh, we have a lot of seniors this year that um, – are carrying us through these tough spots that they had to take their lumps when they were sophomores and in, in, in part of their junior years that, you know, they didn't know how to win. Now we're figuring out how to win. Um, hopefully this, uh, this next game against Del Val will take some of that and, you know, Hopefully we can get a big win against them. You've got, obviously, loads of talent yeah. all over the field. Yes. You're trying to spread it around. Yeah. And, and you told me weeks ago, if we move the ball around and spread it so they yeah. can't key on one guy, yeah. well, this sport's going to be awfully tough to defend for anybody's defense. Yeah, I mean, my personal belief, and this is what I've always thought, when everybody's touching the ball, you know, everyone's invested into the game. If you got a receiver sitting out there and you throw 20 times, you don't throw a ball to him. There's going to be a time they needs to block, and he's not going to block. You've got to be really happy with the fact that offensively, you, last year you'd score 40, you might lose by 10. Yeah. This year the defense is holding up their end of the bargain. Let's talk about how well, how far these guys have come defensively. Oh, uh, leaps and bounds. Uh, last year we got uh, Ben Mayer, a former teammate of mine, in. Um, that was the 2015 pick of buddy year, in my opinion. And... Uh, uh, this year we got Doug Thiel running the defense. That's a 2016 pickup of the year. So as far as I'm concerned, they're a very big reason why we're winning, bigger than anything we're doing offensively because we did this stuff, in my opinion, before. The, now we're stopping people and 
you know, they're giving us the ball back. We're just doing what we've been doing for the past two years. You mentioned a couple of weeks ago to me that uh, Isaiah Hankins, a little different, yeah. a guy that before would, would come out, get very wound up during a game. Now he's calm, he's cool, and he knows exactly what's going on because you guys now know the system. He may point out something to you. Coach, they're doing this, they're doing that, or that won't work. Is that right? Yeah. I'm, he's, this is third year in the system. Um, he, he sees – a lot of what I'm seeing out there, and you know, I, I might call something, and he tell me it's not going to work, and we'll get out of it, or we'll get into something better. Um, again, senior quarterback, um, leader of the team. Is that that simple? He and Daniker and and Potts were at Pitt this week. Going to yeah. show you how highly acclaimed they are. Mm -hmm. Let's talk Trey Potts yeah. in, in in a word. A special player. Your brother is one of the guys they list is one of those greatest players of all time. Mm -hmm. Where Trey Potts at this stage of his career, only a sophomore. Where do you put him? Um, where he could go? When it's all said and done, I I, I feel like he's going to be uh, there's going to be three backs you talk about. And I, I think the two are very easy to talk the, to to mention, and Trey will be the third one. Brown and, you, and Blackman. Yes, yes, and and Potts. That's my opinion, and you know that's my opinion is worth nothing. But I I've known the kid since he was five. He's been he. I, I don't when I see him out in the field, he doesn't shock me. I've been seeing him do this since he was five years old. So uh, there's gonna be three backs you talk about. It's gonna be Brown, Blackman, and Potts, and you you put them in the order you want. I'm Kevin, biased. Let's, let's talk this week. <laughs> Delaware Valley, let's talk real kick. Uh, keys to the game, what you need to do to win this game, go 7-0. Uh, control the line of scrimmage. Um, very big, very strong, very physical team. Um, we have to be able to um, keep them out of our backfield and so we can let our skill guys do what they do best, and that's gain yards and score, or score touchdowns. Kevin, good luck. Let's get one more. Millionaire magic. It's happening all over again at STA Stadium. Thank you. Appreciate it. For over 30 years, Fairfield Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has had an unyielding commitment to hometown values. And we know how important those are to you. When you think Fairfield, you think unrivaled service. And of course, it's where Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Rams cost less. Check out deals like this during the celebration event and Ram Power Days event. Fairfield for fair deals. Fairfield, you're going to love us. I'm over in the hallways of South Williamsport. We have a little inclement weather over here, but I have a special Web Weekly Player of the Week. We're going to honor South Williamsport's line effort against Loyal Sock this past week. I'm with Coach Rich Schoenwolf. How's it going, Coach? Great. Good Jim. to see you. Yep. Hey, thank you. Um, we're, we're doing a big guys thing this year. The, the guys in the trenches, the hogs. Uh, we, we got uh, a good group of guys. What an effort you guys put forward against Loyal Sock. And I sort of known going in that that would be the key to the game, but give me a couple. Of well, I on think that. you know it's nice for you guys to take uh, time to notice the big guys up front. A lot of times they uh, they don't get a lot of notoriety, but with what we've tried to do over here at South, um, you know, without these guys, we're not going to be very successful. So, you know, they they work hard, they prepare, you know, from the end of the season all the way through summer, August. Um, so they put a lot of time and effort into it to get good at their craft and to work really hard. So, um, you know, we knew the game, you know, every week we talk about the games are going to be won up front. And if we Absolutely. can do our job, then, you know, our team has a good chance of being successful. And against a team of, as powerful and as potent as Loyal Sock, we knew we wanted to control the ball and uh, keep them off the field as much as possible. And, and these guys were prepared and did a great job. So, And we, we got to give Gideon a little bit of shout out here. Tremendous job. He had another 40 carries plus. And uh, just keeps on going. He's the energizer rabbit. Yeah, but, but it starts with the guys up front, and, and that's the thing I want everybody to recognize. W yeah. Without the hard work these guys put in, uh, Gideon doesn't have any giddy up. So. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Gideon's a great back. Oh, you know, we're lucky to have him. Ashton Martin is a great back as well. Nice. So yeah. we got two fantastic backs. Um, AJ is a young kid who's getting better every week, and he runs the ball and gives us something. So these guys know if they can get on their people. Um, execute their assignments and stay on their blocks, then our guys are going to reward them with some big plays. And that's what we try to do is just move the chains, move the chains, move the chains. So. And that's what you did. Yeah. So yeah, anyway, was... let's do this. Why don't we pass a mic uh, around to each player that can introduce himself. And, and, and uh, a lot of pizza coming your way, boys. <laughs> uh, so you'll get fed well here. So. I'm Connor Tan, number 64, and I'm offensive tackle. Great job, Connor. Riley Barnes, 52, the center. Uh, Griffin Mesker, 74, offensive guard. Number 71, Ben Johnson, offensive tackle. 
Number 76, Michael McDermott, offensive guard. Number 87, tight end Patrick West. Great job. And, and uh, I mean, I know most of you from other sports and doing other things. Football is a special sport. And, and the line often doesn't get the recognition they deserve. How good did that feel for you guys on, on Friday night, uh, at, you know, after the game? I'll let you got the mic. It was probably one of the best feelings ever. You really don't get to go over to Lois Hawk and say we beat them. Uh, Lois Hawk's one of the better teams in our district, in our county, and it was pretty nice feeling getting to say we beat Lois Hawk, so. It was just, it was a great thing that we were able to beat them. It was a well done thing by all of us, and it was a great achievement that we can carry on. Yeah, knowing everyone worked so hard and everyone pulled together and even switching the lineup a little bit, we were starting to get some really good chemistry with the way it is right now. And it really showed last Friday. Excellent. Yep, same couple words. Give me a couple. Uh, it, was, it was pretty nice seeing that we came out on top. I mean, they had a physical line, but all the hard work we've been given has really paid off. And, and Coach, Coach Schoenwolf, if you could jump in on this. I, I've talked to him a little bit, but he seems like the kind of guy you want to play for him and Coach Eisworth. So, Riley? Yeah, they're a great couple of coaches. They always push us to do our best every week, every day in practice. And they'll get on you when you're not doing good, but that's what, that's what makes an offensive line or any player great. We'll let you have the last word. All right. Anything you want to say? Well, I think we did a great job against Sock because they're always a good team, a strong team, and I think we did well against them. And they beat us last year, and we came back. Him this year. And it always feels good when that happens to come back. Yep. In that. Well, boys, great job. Web Weekly Players of the Week. We're going to have a lot of pizza for, for you uh, from Santino's. So uh, we're going to switch it up. We got, we got Santino's for you guys. And uh, keep the season rolling along. You're off to a great start. Take a commercial break and be right back. For over 30 years, Fairfield Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has had an unyielding commitment to hometown values. And we know how important those are to you. When you think Fairfield, you think unrivaled service. And of course, it's where Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Rams cost less. Check out deals like this during the Celebration Event and Ram Power Days event. Fairfield for fair deals. Fairfield, you're going to love us. Tori Lewis, Riley Conboy, what a great start for the year. 6-0. and did, did you think at the beginning of the season, Torin, that this club had what it would take with the schedule um, you're playing and losing some key guys from last year. You're going to be sitting, standing here 6-0 and playing Southern. You know October 7th was big, yeah. but would you both be 6-0? and What did you think? Um, honestly, I knew that we had what it took to be 6-0. and It was just a matter of the fact if we could play to that potential. And, I mean, we have a lot of new guys stepping in, and everybody's doing great, but we still haven't played our best football, and I th we really need to this week. Riley Conboy, uh, two weeks ago, they had a guy named Todd Sanford playing for Jersey Shore. I'll let you be the interviewer. And uh, Sanford, he got two, two catches early, uh, yep. got into the end zone. He's a great receiver. Was yeah, leading, I think, the state going into that yeah. game. And then you shut him, down, shut him down the rest of the way. Had to feel good. You were all over that guy. Uh, I think I think he uh, he's obviously definitely a good receiver and uh, all that. But I think a lot had to do with the coaching. Uh, I think the game plan we had coming in uh, really helped me out. Had uh, Tom Shea over top of me helping me out, making sure I could be aggressive. And uh, that really helped me out, especially in the second half. And not a bad deal, too, when you guys are putting pressure yeah. on Shimori. But but outstanding job. Thank you. But, but now, do you like playing defense or offense first? I know you wide receivers, you and Shea, can catch <laughs> the ball. What, what do you like doing best? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I like the freedom of defense, but... But it's definitely fun to have the ball. Absolutely. And, and of course, you guys putting it up. Torin Lewis, now all of a sudden, Batkowski is gone. Mm -hmm. Nolan Ott's been banged up. All of a sudden, from fullback, tailback, doesn't matter where you're playing, you're kind of a featured back. You're having fun and, and picking up big yardage. Definitely having fun. You know, I've always liked running the ball. I'm just, I don't have that, uh, that speed, but we have the line that our line's good at getting to the second level, and it opens up holes for me to get through. As long as I'm picking up yards, we're going to keep on driving down the field and, uh, it's a score. Well, I'll tell you, uh, this week, Southern Columbia comes in 6-0. and They've got that defending state champs. A year ago, you guys took it. One of the greatest games I ever did, 56-50. What did that do for the confidence of this team, knowing that you beat them two years ago and last year you nearly pulled the major upset? 
Yeah, I think I think it really helps us out, especially the seniors and returning guys, the juniors and all those guys. I think it really helps us out. We know we can play with these guys and and uh, they're no, really it's, great no intimidation. Team. A lot of teams yes, are intimidated. Sir. One thing Mansoursville's not it, not intimidated by anybody, but not that team. No, no, we're not. And uh, I think that definitely helps us out. And I think a lot of it has to be put on the coaches. They've they've really done a fantastic job with making sure we know that that anyone who comes in, we can play with them. And you probably get it, and in, in, in maybe it goes the other way around, that they know Matoursville's coming in. Matoursville maybe is getting into Southern's head. Torrin, what do you think the key to the ball game is this week? The coaches have talked about it. What What's key going to be if you guys um, come out and go 7-0? Honestly, the last two weeks, uh, we haven't been the greatest playing-wise, and uh, we got to work on tackling better. We just have to we have to finish drives. We can't get penalties. We got to be physical. As we're, if we're physical with them, I think uh, it's going to be a really good game. They're young, we're young. I think it's going to go down to the end, but I think we can come up on top if we play good. Yeah, Riley playing at home. That's uh, kind of sweet playing here, having them yeah. at, at Memorial Stadium. That's that's got to be the place you want them. Yeah, definitely. It gives us a great advantage. We have a great fan base that comes out. All the students come out and support us. Uh, and I don't think I don't think we've ever played Southern home, so no, it's going to be a nice nice change of pace. Guys, good luck. We're going to be rooting for you. We'll be with you on Cable Sports Game of the Week Friday night. Let's go get number seven. All right, thank thank you. you so much. I don't have to tell you the game of the week is here at Mentorsville Southern Columbia rematch of the District 4 title game. J.C. Kiefer's got to be exciting. And here you are, 6-0 and going into that ball game. You told me, outside of the season, every game is tough. You had a brutal schedule. You could have a bunch of losses, but the guys have done it. They're 6-0. and you got to be really pleased at this stage. Yeah, I am. I'll be honest with you, to be 6-0, and um, if you would have asked me that before the season I would have said it's possible but you know unlikely with the schedule that we have but these kids have, have worked hard to be where they're at um, but it's our job to get them to understand that you know 6-0 and really means nothing um, you know two years ago we were 2-4 and four at this point yep. and went on to win a district championship so it can go either way you know what I mean so we're having fun we're out here doing what we do and, and you know it's football season yeah we talked about. a couple of weeks ago one thing you said about Southern your ball club's not afraid of them. You, no backing down. You feel you can play with them. You did last year. You did two years ago. You beat them. So there's a lot of teams are intimidated by Southern, but Torresville is not. Yeah, well, I mean, we don't we don't feel, and it's not just Southern. I mean, we we don't back down from anybody, and, sure. and it's something that we ingrain into these kids' heads early at an early stage, whether it's junior high or whatnot. That we're gonna you know we're gonna play Sealands Grove, Shore, Schick, the bigger schools. Sure. And and you throw Southern in there because of their tradition and, and their history and, and their dominance over the years. So so these kids, you know, it's it's another week. It's fun because they're six and we're six and oh and, and we've had a little bit of a rivalry, if you will, because of meeting in the district championship game last year and the district semifinals the year before. Um, but but really it's it's just another big game. It just happens to be week seven. And year ago, fifty six fifty. The guys come away from that. You can always say moral victory, but who knows what might have happened. But then you, you never would have known that they would go on to win a state title, which yeah. which they did. And right now the guys come into this ball game. How do they face up with Southern this time around? You, you, they've lost some guys. You've got some new guys. Yeah. But your guys rise to the occasion. Let's talk about this week's game. Yeah, it's, it's neat. And we talked about this before when we were going up to Jersey Shore a few weeks ago. They were loaded last year. We were loaded last year. Yeah. They it, We were like a carbon copy. I think is the yeah, words we exactly. use. They lost some kids. We lost some kids. And I think it's the same thing going into Southern. You know, um, they, they lost a ton of kids. They only have two or three guys returning from that team they last year. They start five freshmen on that team and two sophomores. Is that unbelievable? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, there, there's a couple freshmen out there. Um, and, and That's a according and, to Jim Roth. And, right, now. right. <laughs> um, and, and some sophomores and some juniors and a few seniors. But regardless of what grade they're in, most of them are first-year players. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's right. And, and so uh, and, and, and we're in the same boat. So it's, it's going to be a fun matchup. You know, uh, we're looking forward to it. Okay, let's talk about key to the game offensively. You've got a team that's been throwing the ball well. And, and, the, and, and for you guys, the, the, the throwing game, the passing game sets up the run. Yeah, that's exactly right, and and we're looking to run the football this week a little more. Um, we want to be able to establish to run. We want to be physical up front. We want to try and match their physicality. Uh, that's what we've we've challenged our 
our uh, young linemen to do. Um, but we're, we, we're really, uh, to be honest with you, this group this year is more of a, a take what the defense gives you. So, you know, if we, if we go in there and, and we're struggling uh, while running the ball, then, then we're going to throw it. And, and, and if, if we're struggling throwing the ball, then we're going to run it. And, and that's offensively, that's the, that's the philosophy we have and that's the mindset we have. Defensively, a little bend, not break type of defense that you mm-hmm. guys have been playing, making big plays down in the red zone, down when it's counted. Mm-hmm. And, of course, uh, Southern, you know, they're going to come at that Delaware wing tee. They're going to go yeah. that counter, counter offense. A lot of, lot of stuff, actually, that you've seen before. Yeah, and I think that's really why you have to give Coach Roth and his staff so much credit because we know what they're going to do. Everybody knows what they're going to do. It's just stopping them. Yeah, and yeah. that's that's really the challenge. And and so, um, you know, defensively, you're right. We have been stiff in the red zone. Um, however, we've given up too many big plays when we're not in the red zone. Some deep passes. Um, you know, so that's something that we're looking to, to try and eliminate this week and, and tackle better, and, and I think we'll be fine defensively if we can do those things. JC, good luck. It is going to be fun. This place is going to be rocking and rolling this coming Friday night. Cable Sports will have it at Rennie Road Armel All-State Game, and we'll be on live, webweeklylive.com at 6.50. For the entire crew, JC Kiefer, for Jim Webb, and everybody we talked to earlier in the show, we'll see you next week And Touchdowns and Tailgates. We'll see you on Friday night, Memorial Stadium, Montoursville Southern. This is webweeklylive.com. First down, so it brings up second and short. Kavanaugh up the middle, it's nice trap play. Kavanaugh is going to kick it to the outside, has a lot of running room, still on his feet. He's at the 30, and he's just got some speed. And boom, that's the Park Pizza touchdown. Flank to the right. Got the reverse. Williams he's got kicks it to the light. outside. He's got a lot of room. He's to the 40, 30, to the 20. One man to beat. Is he going to get him? And uh, he's in. Trick. Walker's going to throw the long fly. At the 30 yard line. Makes Make a sky miss. Makes a sky miss. Going to set up the wall. There he goes. Gets and to he's the outside. Walkers. And he's got a couple of them. Now you walking a guy around. How would you like to try to get around him? I think Walker's going to walk in.